as well as county allocation of a revenue bill. And also in politics, a section of elected legislators from 11 counties in the Mount Kenya region and allied to the Deputy President William Ruto have retreated for a three-day retreat in the Maasai Mara Game Reserve to finalize a list of demands to the Deputy President if he succeeds President Uhuru Kenyatta in 2022. The leaders who formed two committees to further their agenda insist that economic recovery in the region and the political agenda ahead of the next year's general election remain top of their demands. This happened even as former Prime Minister Raila Odinga held a meeting with members of the Kikuyu Council of Elders led by their chair Washira Kiago at his current home in Nairobi. Our senior political reporter Chris Thairu reports on the race for Mount Kenya votes. <laughs> The scramble for the over 5 million votes from the Mount Kenya region ahead of the 2022 general election continue to take shape as elected leaders from the region and allied to the Deputy President William Ruto retreated for a strategy meeting. Close to 30 elected leaders started their three-day retreat at the Masai Mara Game Reserve to review some of their demands to the Deputy President. We want to do a two-part negotiation, one that will begin with economic revival, once we agree on the economic revival, then we can move to the next phase, which is the political interest. Who fits in? Is it person A, person B? To push through the implementation of that economic revival agenda. The reason why we are negotiating with, 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 with William Ruto is because he has a track record from his ministerial duties, from agriculture to higher education, According to the leaders, the region's economic standing has been eroded and brought to its knees in the last 20 years despite enjoying the position of the presidency. Their demands revolve around agriculture and infrastructure. It is not business as usual because it is usual business to sit here as politicians and negotiate with another political leader for political positions and for politics sake. And what will be politically expedient to the candidate and even to us as political leaders. Tea and coffee farmers, to our traders and industrialists, have all suffered immensely under the supervised hands of monopolistic cartels, an unfair business environment, and business insensitive directives from this government. But leaders opposed to the deputy president dismissed the meeting, saying only President Uru Kenyatta can negotiate for the populous region. If there is any person to negotiate on behalf of Mount Kenya, it can never be any other person. It can only be His Excellency Uru Kenyatta or a person appointed by him to act on his behalf. So any other person purporting to speak on behalf of Mount Kenya, uh, it's either misguided, uh, is a person who is looking for selfish interest, like what we have seen in that group. I said it before, I will say it again. You can rent a kikuyu but you cannot buy a Kikuyu. Bottom line, they will still vote for their own people. The MPs are scheduled to meet the DP and make the demands known at the same venue. What is shocking is that they have already declared their support for that particular candidate. And then an afterthought came that now they need to give conditions. Very interesting. If their candidate of choice is Raila Odinga, the Kieleweke people should enter into talks with Raila Odinga and come and tell the people of Mount Kenya what they have negotiated. As we are in talks with William Ruto, those who want to enter in talks with Gideon Moy, they are free to do so. But they should not be concerned about our talks with a candidate they have already said on record that he is not going to be around in 2022. And in Nairobi, former Prime Minister and ODM party leader Raila Odinga held a meeting with members of the Kikuyu Council of Elders, led by their chairman Washira Kiago. On his official Twitter handle, Raila indicated that the conversation was about moving our country forward and not on a patchy path of tribal lines. We are usually very regimental in the way we do our things. We have our leader, we have the Council of Leaders, and since time immemorial, before we engage, or before the community engaged or undertaken any major activity, there is always consultation. People sit, agree, and in the morning, they move as a team. 
With the exit of President Uru Kenyatta after the 2022 general election, the region is yet to decide on who will succeed. You're watching Friday Briefing. Uh, it's time to pay some bills, but still to come, find out why Chief Justice nominee Lady Justice Martha Kome may have started on the wrong foot. Do stay tuned.